Welcome to Sutton Hollow Homestead here in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom where we grow vegetables, eggs, mushrooms, and cedar products. Uh, we're going to talk about squash breeding today. We're here in the squash patch. You can see that we already harvested and pulled the vines. Uh, today is September 15th and we've had two frosts already. The first frost killed the leaves which protected the squash fruits themselves, but uh, I knew that second frost was going to get on the fruit. So we're here to talk about winter squash, which is one of the things that I'm excited about growing. Um, in the cucurbit family, you have summer squash, winter squash, watermelon, loofah. Um, there's five domesticated species of squash. We have three here today. Um, this is almost all the harvest, minus a few that are inside the house and some that have already been sold. But I pulled out some examples of the three species, and we're going to talk about breeding today. I've been breeding squash for about six years, um, and these are some of our results. Um, so we have Cucurbita moscata, which here is represented by the standard butternut. Um, this is from the seed saver Joseph Lofthouse out west. Uh, these are his seeds that I've been growing here. Um, and this is just your standard butternut, though he does go for diversity um, in his seed stock. Um, I've gotten green ones as well as the standard orange. Over here we have Cucurbita pepo, represented by the delicata among the sweetest of squash. And this right here is a hybrid across between the delicata and a uh, standard pumpkin. Uh, this is an accidental cross. I'm not the only one that has it. Johnny's seed sells it under the name Blaze, something similar. As this ages, it will become all orange, but you can see the pumpkin shape and the delicata stripes. Um, I've pretty much just been continuing to grow these because they're fun. Um, and then over here, we have probably what I'm growing the most of, which is Cucurbita maxima. Uh, represented by the Blue Hubbard squash right here. And here is an orange color morph variety of a Blue Hubbard. So we can see the Blue Hubbard shape and the knobs, but a very nice orange color. Here we have a blue banana. Uh, you can see the same Blue Hubbard color, but the torpedo banana-like shape. Here we have what people often call a candy roaster, um, a nice pink or salmon or orange color. Um, and don't forget, the definition of a species is they can interbreed. So these are separate species and won't mix with each other, but within a species, they can cross. And that's what you see the result of here. And then this final one is new for me this year, and I'm always trying to add something new each year. And this is the Moringa from Brazil. Um, and I wanted to introduce the squat uh, yet wide lobed shape in here.